Thanks for joining me on my channel today. You're welcome. It's great. The reason I invited Max is because recently his family went on a trip to Massachusetts and they got to see where the pilgrims landed. And then they got to see all these cool villages that were reenacting not only the houses and the way the people dressed, but also the Mayflower that mm -hmm. they came across the ocean on. And while Max was there, a really cool thing happened. He found out that he was related to two passengers on the ship really kind of three because of the wife of yeah. the one right so but on two sides of his family you know he has his mom's side of the family and then he has his dad's side of the family which we're related on yeah so i've invited him to tell a little bit about one of those ancestors go ahead max go ahead and tell us uh so he was on the mayflower for about a month now and there was 102 people, and so uh, it was very stinky because I'm, you know. Can't even imagine, right? And so then he. Were they out. all like trapped yeah, in this small like space? Squished. Yeah. So he had enough of it and he went upstairs to get. Oh, yeah, they were in the middle floor, by the way. And so he went, so they're not seeing windows or light no, or fresh no. air or anything. Okay. And so he went upstairs on the deck, and then he it this was during a storm, and so then he was, uh, so and then the there's a huge wave that came along, and then accidentally slipped and then fell, but gladly there's a rope, so he grabbed onto. And uh, then everyone started to notice, hey, where did he go? And so they went upstairs to go check, and then they noticed, oh, no, he's, he's hanging off. Let's, let's bring him back on. And Can you so, imagine that? That would be so frightening if I were him and I fell off into the middle of the ocean and it's a storm, so you know it's not going to be calm you, and you waves, really right? Like, you can't really swim. So he was just holding on to that rope. It sounds yeah. like a miracle to me that he was saved. What would happen if he didn't have that rope? Right, right. He wouldn't be your great-great-great-great-great-grandfather, right? I what sure. happened to him after um, they pulled him back on and he landed? He landed uh, on Plymouth then Rock. Then he met a girl, and he got married with her. And and she was this, also. Yeah, she was also on the Mayflower. And her parents died. And then when they got married, they turned up having 10 kids. And so, you come from one of those kids. Yep. That is such a great story. All right, right now I'm going to show some pictures. This is a picture. This first one is a picture of Max on Mayflower 2. Yep. And you're in that space that your great-great-great-great-grandfather would have been in, which is so cool. And then this next picture is of some clothing that the pioneers would have worn. It looks like strange clothing to us because we don't dress like that. Yeah. But to them, that wasn't strange, that's right? Just that's just normal for them. Just that's, normal their, for them. that's just your clothes. Yeah, yeah. And another picture is the type of houses that that they had but yeah i just want to thank you so much for joining us here and kind of helping us know a little bit about your ancestor and what it was maybe like for the pilgrims that came over on the mayflower um, to find a better life there with their families and the sacrifices they made and how grateful we are for them right to come to the united states thanks for coming you're welcome